Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today we have a very historic day here in the cryptocurrency market with our first altcoin that has been around for years now coming out of the bear market setting a new all-time high and of course we're talking about the ethereum price chart here setting a brand new all-time high we're going to take a look around the rest of the market we'll take a look over at the ripple xrp price chart today's the big day for coinbase removing the trading for xrp so we'll take a peek over there at xrp we'll also of course talk about bitcoin but really today is just an absolute milestone day to see our first major altcoin break out into new all-time highs obviously it's just barely peaking above there but it's still such a historic day after coming out of years of being in a bear market we now have bitcoin the number one cryptocurrency in the crypto market sitting at an all-time high and now finally our first major capped altcoin has touched a brand new all-time high and that's a really optimistic thing for the rest of the market Yesterday, I saw Jungle Inc. post this over here on Twitter. I fully expect to get smoked in the short term, but I believe 28 cent XRP with F and Link that just about doubled in value will be a win. And you can see that he sold off his Ethereum to buy XRP. Now, whether or not that's the right move or the wrong move, I want to talk about something and how that's exactly how this market gets played mathematically to perform the best out here. It's really exciting to see Ethereum hit a new all time. It's fantastic. It's exciting. And everybody's pointing their, their fingers at it saying, holy cow, look at that. Oh my goodness. It's in an all time high. That's super exciting. But the reality is when you measure the percentages of how Ethereum has done, Ethereum has risen 1,600% off of the bottom. So it's already risen a dramatic amount amount of money in that time. But what you saw Jungle Link do right there is actually get out of something that has been rising, that has been exciting, and scoot it into something that is still suppressed and has FUD surrounding it. And I really like Jungle Link. I think he puts out some incredibly good content, and I really like that move that he did right there. You know, it's wild to do that, you know, to, to make that big of a, of a judgment call right there with Ethereum at the all-time high. But from a mathematical standpoint, it's smart, right? If you just go based on math and math alone, you look at it and you say, okay, well, how much higher can Ethereum go? Let's say Ethereum, if we're going to do that same type of move again, you got to get to $25,000 if you're going to make that kind of move all over again. Whereas with X XRP in order to get up to the all-time high, you know, a thousand percent just to get back to the all-time high. So what seems more likely to happen first, you know, XRP getting to $3 or Ethereum getting to $25,000? To me, the more, more likely thing to happen is that XRP would get back to above $3. But the reason why we're talking about that is because this is really kind of that first phase of alt season, right? The second one of the major altcoins starts breaking out into a new all-time high. This is where a lot of people are going to get tested. This is where a lot of people are going to get their portfolio eroded because because they're going to do things absolutely opposite. What they're going to do is they're going to sell all their stuff that's low and chase all the stuff that's really high. But the way to play this market mathematically has always proven that you get out of the things that are pumping like crazy and you move them into the suppressed stuff. Of course, XRP has a lot of things surrounding it. You know, there's a lot of concerns right now. We'll see how all these things play out. But from a mathematical standpoint, assuming that a lot of these things can be corrected with XRP and with Ripple, mathematically, it's an incredible move. That's that's not financial advice. I'm just admiring that he took a shot at it and went for it. Because yesterday I did something similar. I sold off some of my Cardano to go ahead and move it into XRP as well. Now, of course, today is the big day for Coinbase. So back to the Coinbase blog that was posted on December 28th, that Coinbase will suspend trading in XRP on January 19th. And right in here, we can see in light of the SEC's recent action against Ripple Labs Inc., Coinbase plans to suspend trading in XRP on Tuesday, January 19th, 2021 at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that's going to be 12 p.m. Central and 1 p.m. Eastern time. So by the time this video goes live, just within a couple of hours after this video goes live is when the XRP trading will halt over there on Coinbase. Leading up to this moment, one of the big questions was whether or not we'd see some type of last minute dump that would happen with XRP for people who are just going to get rid of it at the very last second, or if we'd see some type of last minute pump. Maybe those people who are thinking, you know what, I'm 
I'm not going to have a chance to get it again for a long time. I better grab it right now. I think for people who are within the XRP community, a lot of them are feeling the latter, right? The one where, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this stuff very easily moving forward. We do still have Uphold that will continue trading of XRP for U.S. residents. But as for Coinbase, it is going to end today. Hopefully that is temporary. Hopefully it doesn't last too long. But today is that big day. And we could see that there's been a little bit of price action here within the last 12 hours or so where the price did pop out and break out from here at 29 cents, reached all the way up to almost 33 cents. And now we're kind of sitting at about 30 and a half cents. It's a, a number we've heard a few times here on this channel. But yep, we're sitting at 30.5 cents right now. Bitcoin is still consolidating right here in the middle of its range, sitting right there at 37,100. And Ethereum is over here just kind of poking above its all-time high. But one of the really interesting things as well is looking over here at the total altcoin market cap. As you guys know, if you've been watching this channel, we've been talking about that 702 Fibonacci retracement level. We have now peaked above here. Of course, we need to see daily candles close above here. We need to see weekly candles close above here. We need to see complete breakouts of this entire level. But this total altcoin market cap did go set a new high compared to what happened on January 10th, which when we zoom out and we put down our Fibonacci retracements, you can see we're above that 702. The last one right there, that last Fibonacci retracement right there that 786 comes in at about 383 billion dollars for the total altcoin market cap so one last fibonacci retracement remaining before we go to the all-time high and then up and up we go but with this being a historic day and our first major altcoin actually setting a new all-time high, I want to talk again about what I liked about what Jungle Link did there. That's something to talk about on this channel too, is that the idea of all of this and, and the way to mathematically do it, and you can easily mathematically calculate it, is if you're going to sell things low to buy things high, you are completely eroding your potential opportunity out there. Um, and that's not advice. That's not anything. That's just simple math. Um, the, the way that people can mathematically make the most amount of money is picking the winners. You obviously have to pick the winners, but at the same time, selling those winners when they're way up to go buy the other ones that are going to be winners when they're really low. You completely multiply your money exponentially by doing that. And it's it's really important heading into an alt season that you have that understanding. If you go into it with the mentality of selling things when they're low to buy things when they're high, you are not going to win. And I, I, I issued this warning because there's so many people that watch this channel that have been around through this entire bear market. And that is one way you can ruin what happened for the last several years, holding through everything, going through all this stuff through a bear market. And then at the very end, you start selling stuff off when it's low to chase stuff that when it's high. Uh, it's just math. It's just simple math selling things when they're high to buy things when they're low because this market rotates and i know we haven't seen a whole lot of that yet but there will be crazy rotation and this is usually how it goes you start with bitcoin then it starts funneling its way down now we've moved our way down to ethereum right the number two coin then what happens then we start hitting all those top 10 coins then what happens we start hitting all those top 50 and then what happens we start hitting all those top 200s and it just rotates its way down and the money trickles down throughout the rest of the market Going into this, we don't know which ones are going to be the really big winners, which ones are not going to be the big winners. But the mathematics of doing well in the cryptocurrency market have shown that letting go of the stuff when it's high to chase the stuff when it's low is the most mathematically successful way you can win here. And that's all going to depend on, you know, what your pain tolerance is like, you know, how much can you handle? How much FOMO can you handle, right? Because what's most likely going to happen is if you're selling something when it's going way up, you're most likely going to let go of it too early. That's just the reality of it. You're most likely going to sell it too early. You're going to rotate it into something low and you're going to watch the one that you sold keep going up and you're going to watch the one that you buy just kind of stay flat down there at the bottom for a while. And it's being able to sit through that and understand it and just mathematically run the numbers and say, you know what, that thing's not going to go up for forever. The one that I'm in right now, the one that I've moved into is eventually going to go from a percentage standpoint, I'm going to win. But that requires patience and it requires control of your emotions. And for certain, everybody who piles into this market in the next couple of months will not have those types of skill sets. They will not have the emotional control. They are jumping in with FOMO. If you weren't accumulating anything when this was a bear market, when prices were low, when the banks were telling you don't touch cryptocurrencies, but now they're all telling you to buy cryptocurrencies, those people will not have the ability to do that. They want instant rewards right there, right now. So 
It's super exciting for Ethereum. I do own a little bit of Ethereum, but from a percentage standpoint, it's starting to run its course. It's up 1,600%. As for Cardano, the reason I let go of some of Cardano, it's up 2,100%. Meanwhile, XRP is up 150% off the bottom. At least it was yesterday. It's up a little bit more now. But there are plenty of other coins within this market, within the top 50, that are still sitting down there near their bottoms. So I know what's coming. If, if we're going to do anything like what I've seen before in this market, I know what happens. We start to see this one go. Then we start to see a few more go. Then you start to see a lot go. And it becomes like a snowball where it is like playing whack-a-mole. You have people chasing everything every day and it gets really, really wild. And XRP, I have no doubt in my mind, will have its opportunity to go. The problem is how many people are going to chase other things that are really high before that opportunity comes is what we'll see. But Stage one, step one has been achieved. Our first major altcoin has set a new all-time high. And as this altcoin market cap continues to break up higher and higher, we'll see which order they are when they all start to go, because I fully expect we'll see lots of altcoins start to take off and set new all-time highs. And for me, the point of being diversified and having a diversified portfolio has never been to say, well, which ones are going to win? And then whenever those ones start winning, I'll just sell off my losers to start chasing the winners, my idea of diversification has always been that have a set of assets, one of them starts taking off early, I'm going to sell it and I'm going to rotate it all into my other assets that haven't taken off yet. And when you just run the numbers on that and how all that pans out, when we see so much rotation throughout this market and how when we look at every alt season and see that all these coins have a tendency to pump in some way or another, whether it's just speculation, whether it's just FOMO and crypto doing crypto, that all of them have a tendency to move to the upside, that the rotation plays when you diversify, sell off your winners to chase the laggards, tends to be the best way to do it. So I was really impressed to see Jungle Inc. go out there and do that. I did do a little bit of that with my Cardano yesterday. And as this market continues to move higher and as we have our leaders start to go, I'm going to continue doing that. I'm going to continue letting go of the, the ones that are leading to go get those ones that are lagging behind. But congratulations to all those Ethereum holders out there. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for this. We've all been waiting for it. You guys are the first one through the door for the altcoin market. Congratulations to you. And for all the people who hold anything else other than Ethereum, your day will come as well. I fully believe that. But all right, we'll start wrapping this thing up. You could check out my website over here. It's bcbacker.com. I do have a bunch of videos in here for my course where you deep, where I deep dive into the previous Bitcoin bull runs, the previous altcoin market cycles, and show how these alt seasons have worked in the past, tying all of that information together. I talk about my different exit plans in here along with progress updates. And I also have a lot of additional information in here where we're talking about the mathematics is mathematics of rebalancing and percentages mean everything, price doesn't, forecasting, lessons learned from the previous cycles, and additional chart reading stuff if you're interested in that, along with a spreadsheet for tracking cryptocurrencies. So there's a lot of stuff in here. You guys can get this over here at bcbacker.com. There's also a link to my website in the description of this video. You could follow me over here on Twitter at BC Backer. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's the day we have our first altcoin, major altcoin breaking into all time highs. So boom, we're on our way. Things get really exciting and really fast. They give it like an exponential curve that it, it just kind of, it doesn't feel like it's really crazy yet. But all of a sudden, things just start getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And that's what I've always seen happen in this market. And we're just now reaching those first steps of that happening. Bitcoin all-time high, Ethereum touching all-time high. And then now it's time for the snowball. So exciting times. I hope that you guys have a great day. So let's wrap it up. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you could be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need to pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.